Hi everyone, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to install software using Action One and PowerShell. Action One is a patch manager, it's cloud based, and it is free for home and small business use for up to 200 endpoints. So what I'm going to show you is how to install some software called Rust Desk using Action One. The reason why you might want to install Rust Desk is it's a little bit faster of a remote manager. Action One has a web based one built in, but if you want something a little bit faster, I definitely recommend setting up Rust Desk. So, Here's Rust Desk. So we'll just open it up and have a look at the version. And you can see here we have 1.2.3. And we're going to upgrade this to 1.3.7 using Action 1 and PowerShell. I'm going to go down here to Script Library because I created a script. It's called Update Rust Desk. Update Rust Desk to the latest version on GitHub. Here is my script. So it's going to create a folder called IT Temp. I have a URL here that I have not implemented in the script yet. Right now it's all hard coded. The variable is there so that later on I can change all the hard coded sections to the variable and then when there's a new version, you can just update it in one place. So we have here a test to see if the temporary install folder we're going to create is already there. If it's already there, we want it removed and everything inside of it. And then we're going to check and see if Rust Desk is installed. If it is, it needs to be uninstalled so that we can update it with the MSI. So now our script is going to recreate the IT temp folder, which is going to download Rust Desk and run the MSI. Then it's going to wait for 30 seconds and then remove the IT temp folder, just cleaning up after ourselves. And we also have a check to see if the folder doesn't exist if it doesn't, we're just going to go ahead and do the checks to install Rust Desk. Next step. Now here we can do a test. I've already done this. So I'm just going to go finish. I'm going to go back to my endpoints. And here on my yoga, I have a run script selected from my script library. Press confirm. And I can either have it reboot automatically or not reboot automatically. And I can also check for error codes. So I have my endpoint selected. Do the next step. We want it to run now. And then it'll show it running. And let's have a look at the endpoint.
So on the C drive, there's our IT temp, there's Rust desk, and according to our automation details, it completed successfully. So we'll just check and verify that it's on 137. This always takes a minute. There we are. Let's open up Rust Desk. We can see the icons different. Go to the menu, About, and version 137. So we have successfully updated Rust Desk using Action 1 and PowerShell. As always, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're looking for the Rust Desk script, you can find it on my blog, optionkey.blogspot.ca.